What's going on in that internet land? It's your girl, Sean here, the Multipreneur Entrepreneur, coming to you with a quick training video. And today I want to actually talk to you about Twitter. But before we get into that, folks, let me, I just want to uh, mention a couple of things first. You know, if we're in, on the, if we're in, excuse me, the online marketing space, the one thing that we know is that we're always needing to network and connect with other people. Um, no matter what it is you're doing, affiliate marketing, network marketing, MLM, whatever you want to call it, we all need people. And we should all, we should all be reaching out uh, and connecting with people on a day-to-day -day basis. And so there are several different ways that we can do that, um, which we can get into later. But today I want to talk about Twitter and, and groups and how I'm actually doing, using the both of those to my advantage. So if you're in groups, <clears throat> let's start there. <clears throat> Excuse me. The one thing that you want to make sure of, first and foremost, is that you're in a group that is interactive. You don't want to get into a whole lot of groups where you're just kind of posting your link and everyone's kind of posting their link and you're not really interacting with anybody. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more at, at another time on, on um, how I use groups to connect. But for this video, um, I'm in a couple of groups that I really like, several groups where we interact with each other. Um, there's always some kind of daily post going on. And, you know, you can really reach out to some amazing people. So one of the groups that I'm in, and I will share this um, link in the, um, in the comment section, is the Women's Entrepreneur Network Group. Now, this is not a group for going in and spamming and throwing out your link. Every day, they have some kind of post. Um, I believe it was on Tuesday, it was um, to post your Twitter link. Um, and then what happens is, as you can see, there was um, about 130 people that posted their Twitter handle. So now guess what, folks? you've got an additional 130 people that you can connect with if you so choose. Now you can connect with everybody and I'm gonna show you how I do that and how I keep a handle on where I'm making these new connections. Or, you know, you can kind of go in and you can scroll down, you can see where I put my link in and right here. And so far I've had two people who've come in and given my Twitter um, page a like. At least they let me know by just clicking the like button that they liked my page, okay? So now I can go directly to them, just to those two people, and like their pages to find them in the list. Or I can kind of go through this 130 and see if there's anybody that may be of interest. So what I want to show you in this video is how, I, how I'm connecting my Twitter connections, um, how I'm keeping a, a track of them, with, within Twitter, so I know where they came from. So as you can see, I have, as again, there was 130 comments. Um, let's find that place right here. There's 130 comments um, made. So what I'm gonna do is, as um, I went in already, this was on Tuesday, so I follow some people, and some people came in after, and I haven't. So I'm gonna show you what I do um, when I'm connected with people. So what I do is I'm on Facebook and I want to go to this person's Twitter account. So what I'm going to do is right click and open a new tab. Okay. And once it loads up, where the magic happens, folks. Okay. I can look and I can look at Leana and, you know, I can see a little bit about, I can read about her. Um, right off the bat for me, I see a picture of a cruise ship. If anyone knows me, I'm a travel whore. I don't like cruising. I have a love affair of cruising. Um, so this attracts me all of a sudden. I can go over here and read uh, her little bio. Um, I see she's got a link here. I can check that out. But what I can do right now is that I can just hit the follow button. And right next to it, those three little dots, if I click that, Get this list that comes up. This one right here is the most important. It says add or remove from list. So what I want to simply do is click on this. And as you can see, I have a list that says Women's Entrepreneur Group. So that lets me know that everybody that I put into this into this list, I've connected with 
through the Women's Entrepreneur Group. And you can do this for a variation of things. As you can see, I have just straight um, travel bloggers. I have people that I've met just on Facebook and Facebook connections. Um, and if you want to know how to create a list, it's real simple. Scroll to the bottom of it and you'll see the button, create a list. And then you can just type in whatever you want. I'm going to call this test for now. You can put a description if you want to. You don't have to. You can make it under privacy. You can make it public. So anyone can follow that list. You can make it private so that only you can see it. Um, I'll make it public for now. Then what I'll do is I'll just save the list. And now you'll see that there it is. There's the test. And all I have to do is, in this case, I will click on the Women's Entrepreneur Group. That's where uh, Leona comes from. And then I just close it out. That simple. So now, what does that do for me? Okay. I'm going to actually show you how this works. So if I go to, let me see. If I go to, if I go to my profile fit and I click on it, you can see I can view my profile. And you see right here, I can see my list. If I click on list, okay, you'll see right here, you'll see my list of my different lists. And so right here under my Women's Entrepreneur Group, you'll see that I have 63 members, okay? I can click on just those, just that um, link, and I will, what I'll now see are tweets from all of those different people, just from that group, okay? Now, what does this simply mean? Glad you asked. What this means is, is that when I was in Facebook, and remember, there was 130 people who commented, which means I haven't gotten to everybody, okay? Gotten to some people. Remember that 130 that we had at the top right here? Right here, exactly. What I did was is that I, I clicked and I opened up a new tab for a couple of people at a time. I looked to see if there was something that was of interest to me, whatever the case was. I followed them, and then I clicked on those three dots, and then I put them into that list. And so now what I could do at a later time is now I can start interacting with these people. And I can go in, I can look at their tweets, I can like their tweets, I can retweet their tweets. I can, if I so choose to, because again, it's about networking. So now I can even go in, if I so choose, and send them a private message and just say, hey, you know, thanks for, thanks for connecting. Or like, you know, I connected with you via the Women's Entrepreneur Group. And so now you clearly know where these people have come from. And you can have as many lists, I believe, in Twitter as possible. So when you're making those connections, if you're on Facebook and you're prospecting for whatever um, company or affiliate marketing program that you're um, promoting for, then by all means, you know, if you, um, if you know, if they tell you, Hey, I'm on Twitter too, or I'm on Twitter more than Facebook, which is sometimes not 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 usually the case, but it does happen. Or connect with me on Twitter because I'm there as well. I spend a lot of time on Twitter. Then that's a way to keep a track of those people that you that you meet on Twitter. If you're on Twitter just you know by itself and you decide, hey, I'm just gonna go around and you know do some searching and find some new people and stuff. Um, you know, you can make a list of new contacts. Because what you can do is you can kind of go in and meet new people and then go back later and interact with them, interact with their posts, retweet their stuff. Like I said, send them a DM. Whatever the case is, now you have another stream of uh, people to talk to. All right? So that's my uh, little Twitter tip for the day. I hope you got some value from today's training video. If you did, I ask you a huge, huge, huge favor and to like, share, but most importantly, comment and let me know that you got some value. Um, please feel, feel free also to share this out with um, your people so that everyone knows how to really use Twitter to its full advantage. All right, this is your girl, Sean, the multiple Noah entrepreneur, coming straight from my home office here in Boston, Mass. And until your next video, peace.